When I found out I was interning at a school, I really didn't know what to expect. I mean, it is dead in the middle of the summer. What am I supposed to do, play with puppies? Okay, I did play with puppies, but I also did actual work. It turned out to be as much of a learning period for me as it is about getting work experience. By working alongside teachers and administrators, I got a good glimpse into the Taiwanese education system. My prior impression of education in Taiwan really just came from things that I've heard. I knew that students still had to go to school in the summer. I also knew that there are a lot of exams and parents cared about marks. Like a lot. But I guess that comes with the territory when kids are expected to be writing these intense exams starting in grade 6 so they can get into junior high. The school that I had the privilege of working in for the past six weeks is the National Nanke International Experimental High School. Yes, the name is quite a mouthful, but the school itself is just as unique. The campus located within the Nanke Science Park is home to an elementary, a junior high, and a senior high school. In addition, the infrastructures themselves are designed with environmental friendliness in mind. While Nanke's buildings are quite impressive, I soon found out that it may not be that different from other Taiwanese schools. One obvious thing is the fact that they offer summer classes, or as the school calls them, Su Qi Fu Dao. Coming from Canada, this is unheard of unless you failed something the previous year. But here, while it is not mandatory, all students attend, and it feels just like an extension of the regular school year. To understand what is going on, I asked around to see what is up with Su Qi Fu Dao. I really think there is more to these summer courses than simply to occupy the kids' time or to create a habit of studying. The marks given out has no bearing except for the parents to see whether their kids are keeping up. I feel like Su Qi Fu Dao is almost more of an example of the vicious cycle that is in the education culture in Taiwan. Schools continue to extend learning hours during breaks and after school to stay competitive with each other but also satisfy the parents' desire to get their kids to study more. So I decided to ask a few of the students to see what they think about the current Taiwanese education system. I began by asking about Su Qi Fu Dao. Tai 跟要上大學要考好成績沒有關係的東西上面。他們都認為你要一個穩定,要一個好的工作是你要讀好大學,你成績要夠好,人家才會娶你。I have heard that there are now changes to the way students get into schools that rather than solely relying on examinations, students can potentially bypass it through the process of submitting applications. 就是台灣最近的升學制度啊,它就是 越來越走向開放的方式 mm -hmm. 
你可以用申请的。很多高中的学生他们会有点失焦，他们会不清楚到底自己应该要很好的认真读书，还是说他应该要去参加很多活动，去参加很多比赛，然后让自己的就是在学校的高中生活非常的多彩多姿。他到底应该是哪一样？但他们现在是你要进好的学校，你就是要成绩好，但是你又要能够有非常丰富的高中生活。所以对他们来讲，考验是更大的。我自己是国小小孩的妈，其实以家长的立场，我觉得这样的改革的方式，其实对小孩真的是非常辛苦。就是你要让他变成说，好像是一个全方面都很都很厉害的一个小孩，他必须要能够参加各项比赛，每一样就是不同样的比赛都要能够得奖，然后又要很会读书。So despite the reforms. Taiwan may be a little bit too deep in the Chinese tradition. To see any short-term differences in parents or schools' approach to education. I think in Taiwan's society, in fact, we have a lot of expectations for students. If you have a good education, for example, if you have a good university, you may get a better job. If you get a better job, we can ensure that you have a better life. In other words, 基本上，我觉得现在这样其实是 OK 的，但是我觉得最大问题还是出在父母亲。我会觉得父母亲啊，父母亲对小孩子的期待，我觉得这个部分可能还是真的是太着重于传统的，就是说，呃，可能是唯有读书是最重要的，或者说一定要念好大学才有好的人生。我觉得这个部分可能家长的观念要改，不是每个人都适合念书。Since she pointed out that the biggest problem to the system are the parents, I asked whether schools are encouraging such narrow-mindedness with their own behaviors, such as extending learning hours. Parents' fear is always there. Then, the school part of it, in fact, for parents, the change in their mindset is not very much. The school will think that my student is doing good, which means that my school is very good. 我们还是台湾还是停留在所谓的名校，就是，比如说台大啦、清大、交大啦，或是南一中、南女中这种名校的名师里面，每个学校都觉得说我要变成名校。如果说这个学校的好坏只是停留在我的学校是考考到几个是台大的，或考到几个是医学院，表示我是好学校，我觉得这样子没有进步啊。在台湾啊，像很多的像台积电很多的公司啊，事实上他的学生，他要的人，他们在面试的时候，他们就会先做筛选，他们就是要台大、清大、交大毕业的。大家都认为说，你要进一个好的公司，你一定要好的学历，否则你连进都没有办法进去。就变成说，你现在大学毕业根本不算什么，你要研究所毕业才是才找得到工作，而且你研究所毕业，你可能还要非常好的学校。毕业才能够保证你有高薪的薪水。就是现在大学这么多，他没有办法说以你一张大学文凭就去判断你到底到底是不是适合，就是你的专业知识到底足不足够。所以他们只能用最传统的方式，就由你哪一间大学来决定。Stemming from the Chinese education system, the Taiwanese culture has always been stuck with the idea that books and studies are the key to success. Therefore. While there has been many changes to the way students get into schools, the entire Taiwanese population is still having a hard time adjusting. Parents, schools, and employers are all just as guilty in maintaining the current culture of focusing solely on studies. Even though extracurricular experiences may be of help, to give oneself the best chance in life is still very much reliant on studying hard. And getting into the top-ranked schools, despite Nanka's unusual format of combining three levels of schools together onto one campus, despite its eco-friendly buildings and boasting of small class sizes, at the core of the school's existence is still that Chinese mentality that studying hard means success in life.